All right, hello, hello, Aquariuses. Aquarius, this is your first monthly message for August. Uh, thank you all so very much. Please also keep in mind I open up my monthlies for rising sign, moon sign, Aquariuses. So also check out the monthly for August for your rising sign, moon sign for more clarification or guidance. Um, I also give out different zodiac signs, dates, times, names. Take it how it resonates, guys. Um, whew. Uh, I was doing all the cleansing and stuff from Capricorns. There was a little break in between. Had some really interesting dreams. Um, so maybe you had some weird dreams too. It was just barely the 8 8 portal, the Lionsgate portal. Um, a lot, a lot of Libra energy. So, uh, also, you could have this in your chart or dealing with them, right? Uh, a little bit of Gemini. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, Virgo. 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 <laughs> um, I was starting to get my uh, my cedar here flaming and cleansing, but it seems to be that it doesn't need. It, it's unneeded or something uh, for you guys. Um, man, we'll just see where I go with it. Sometimes I don't even want to bring up some of the stuff. So there was a lot of V names which is interesting. Uh, like I was saying, it could be middle names, first names, last names, uh, city names, street names, things like that, right? So take it how it resonates, guys. Uh, a lot of V, so like Vanessa, Veronica. Uh, also, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm just going to take those, one, uh, maybe Valerie, Val, something like that. Um, also J names, Joshua, John, uh, Jeremy, um, what else? Jesus, Jesus, um, what else? I'm like, what else? It's like, I don't, almost don't want to tell you now. Um, and then Elizabeth, um, Amelia, Amelia, something like this, A or E, um, let's see what else. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it at that at this point. Yeah. Okay, Aquariuses, let's jump in to your messages for August. Uh, also, the description box, check that out. I will link in part two, maybe part three. Uh, we'll see uh, how many I need to do. So, Capricorns was a doozy, okay? That's all I'm going to say. So, some of you that do have Capricorn in your chart be, or dealing with them, um, I have something extra for you, specifically for those people. Because, you know, you're a cusp energy and stuff, right? Uh, I didn't end up getting to the art oracles and they had one of the boss girl cards left there. The bold Tuesdays recharge yourself more often than you charge your phone. As I shuffled all the cards for you, there's characters. I'm going to pull characters. You got, like I said, once again, take it how it resonates. It could be a, uh, a character in your life. And if it has no meaning for you, then it's not for you, right? You are amazing. Own it. That is your boss girl card that popped up too. Um, hmm. Like I said, a lot of Libra. There was Gemini too. I just, there was so many signs. And then Virgo. And I'm getting this sense of you were blocking out people, being done, dealing with certain people, uh, blocking people, literally, uh, that are um, from getting into your energy or into your head and you're just seeing clearly about certain people nine one virgo i feel like some a lot of people be done with the virgos okay uh and if you are a virgo then flip it around maybe you're done with someone else or something like that okay uh for the highest good of all okay let's just jump in <laughs> Let's just jump into the cards and see. I might also get, so I have crystals in here, Daily Crystal Inspiration uh, by Heather Eskinosi. And Paulo, uh, the Zodiac cards were kind of spotlighted. So I don't know if I'll incorporate them. I, I feel like it has to do with the Capricorn energy too, potentially. Um, divine Feather Messengers this time. Uh, new for this month, I open up for the Leo energy uh, and Virgo. Um, and then the other one I'm super excited to share with you guys is actually the Time Traveler's Oracle, 44 cards. Oh, yes, I did see 440. I, I was getting this sense that you're really into um, seeing the angel numbers as well as even maybe sacred geometry. 
Um, Plato, the philosopher, uh, I saw a quote and it was about uh, those who see, I can't remember if it, I'm not gonna give you the exact quote and honestly, I did not research it and make sure that it is true and accurate. So that's the other thing, right? Um, that it came from Plato but the philosopher, so Atlantean stuff was there too, but it was also someone who, I think the quote has something to do with like, um, those who see through societal norms are never understood and they will never be followed by the masses. Um, it's like being, I also got something about Nostradamus, which is kind of interesting anyways, and predicting future and connecting with that type of stuff. Um, really into the philosophy and philosophers um and, and here we go sigmas <laughs> i'm all giggly when i say that i don't know why but uh i, I i've i've never spoken that in any other videos but it's definitely a word that is being spotlighted lately sigma uh also what isn't isn't that like greek the greek um, and what's in a name? Also, fascinatingly enough, I have the oracle Le Jeu de Tarot, Valer, Valerie, oh, okay. Um, and this is from actually Paris and the catacombs, okay? Uh, so it's something new, it challenges me a little bit too, and I think we all, uh, all of my, so every month I, I, I incorporate something new, right? Um, so I am not all knowing and nor, nor do I uh, claim to be, okay? And so that's sometimes the wisest person is the one who's, who realizes, uh, I'm getting like Ruth, um, <laughs> uh, baby Ruth or something. I'm getting Ruth off of, uh, what's that called? The Ozarks. I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> okay, if I swear a curse and that offends you, sorry, sorry. Okay, there was also some Sagittarian. I feel like there's Sagittarian Virgo energy that you're kind of like, and maybe even Capricorn that is like, mm, just be done. Maybe it's Libra as well. There's a lot of Libra energy, multiple different people in your life. So also keep in mind, um, when I bring up a specific zodiac sign, I also recognize, and I feel the same way regarding, I don't care what your religious beliefs are, your background, your ethnicity, your sexuality, your uh, gender. Um, I'm, I see, I'm looking at the heart of the character. So there are good Libras that are bad Libras. And I, I have no compassion for evil. Okay, I feel like if you are going to murder someone, if you are going to harm another being by stealing, lying, then uh, you get what you deserve when you go to jail. And I, I have no compassion for evil. I, I, I can't. I think that's the putting your boundaries up. So the same thing with religions and certain uh, prophets and stuff like that. And I'm very much against uh, anyone who wants to harm a child physically, mentally, spiritually, or SA. You understand? Yeah. And I see a lot of that hidden. So there was a lot of churchy stuff. Uh, people really fail to recognize that that is where a lot of people go there to have forgiveness for their evil doings, right? Thinking, uh, you know. Um, and like I said, so I was getting some Baptist pastors, some Catholic priests, Oh, that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and you know, even with anybody that that puts themselves in that holier than thou position, thinking they can speak, be God's uh, voice, and then abuses, lies, cheats, dude, dude, I, I, I yeah. God's even more mad at those people who portray themselves as godly, who turn around and do uh, sexual sin. And I, you know, sin, uh, there's all of that, right? The seven deadly sins, there's vanity all over the place, lustful stuff. And I've seen it's women as well can be predators. There's some youth pastors, maybe you're going to church or you're seeking for this. Uh, one thing I've learned is 
throughout my seeking, uh, there is darkness. Uh, I can find something wrong with every single one. The monks even, murder, <laughs> murder and mayhem. Yeah, and trying to control. So I look at the devil energy as anyone, anything that was trying to dominate and control another person. Okay, uh, I look at the signs as well. Uh, a bunny today, so the rabbit, and as I was uh, shuffling your cards, I did see the rabbit. This is overcoming fear as well, and the bunny escaped the jaws of uh, my dog who, and I was like, no, Lee, let the bunny live. <laughs> And he got away. So I was like, yes. Also, lately I've been like finding bees randomly that are kind of like, so I've saved some bees. I've been saving the bees. It's like they fall asleep and they're in the place where they shouldn't be. Uh, and uh, if I don't move them out of the way, they could be crushed. So lately I've been going and saving these bees, putting them back off the road, off the streets. And you can take out how it resonates because I did see the homeless person in your characters. Okay. Um, the dancer popped out. We'll just see. We'll just see. Let's just go. I've been yammering on long enough. 1120 on the clock. Yeah. So some Sagittarius 1122. Hello. This is also recognizing a great shift. If you're looking at numerology and things like that, there's a huge shift. That's even a shift in from Sagittarian to Scorpionic, right? Or Scorpio Sag. That's what it is. Um, so first and foremost, I'm going to set these off to the side a little bit. Moments of gratitude with this time traveler. There was other names. I'm just not going to go into it right now. The song I got for you, I keep giving it to everybody, is uh, P.O.D. and Alive. Every day is a new day. I'm thankful for every breath that I take. Right? So there's Marcus. I got Bernard. Mark. I feel like somebody saw the true colors of Mark and Joe. Okay? their true colors came forth um someone saw it. it's like recognizing and seeing something uh it's like you intuitively knew it but finally that that truth comes to light about something uh justin jonathan ryan oh um there was another song so i think it's called capital cities and safe and sound yeah um what what ryan something like that okay let's just see i'm gonna look underneath the deck see your first character oh damn there's a criminal there <laughs> that's what i'm talking about oof 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 the bad nuns dude and the bad priests dude there's this story i'm all dude <laughs> when i say dude to me it, it's a universal dude I don't care your gender. I'll call you, you can be a woman, I'll call you dude. Don't matter. Um, this one was insane though. Um, he had like a big old party at his house with only boys. Little P. Diddy thing there too. <laughs> hey Sean, uh, Puff Daddy. Um, I can't remember the dude's name, but he got like a, a male escort guy at his party and the guy OD'd on uh performance enhancers, right? I don't like on Viagra and shit. Um and he just gets the walk of shame. Um so this has something to do with people who are I call them wolves in sheep's clothing or real transgressors of justice, right? And and I get it. You know, people who are non-religious at all, non-spiritual, don't believe in that thing. Um, I don't believe in anything, be out there doing crimes, murdering, and stuff like that. Oh, there was another name that kept coming through. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. Three different Tiffany's. Mm, mm, mm. Three different, spelled differently. I'm, I get, I get the words, and sometimes it's through different things I'm watching, right? So underneath there, there seems to be a criminal transgressor of justice, prison, parolee or discipline this is why i i truly believe we do need the government <clears throat> and this type of stuff because uh if not it would run run amok um yeah and i i am a strong advocate i'm 
some people might not like this for the death penalty, okay? Because if you hurt, but but let me be clear, there needs to be like true, like, you know, I understand why people get appeals and stuff like that, but why is it that it takes 25 years for someone on death row to finally be uh, executed? Utah just, it was popping up all over. So someone who's been on death row for 25 years, I didn't even know about this. Um, he's a murderer, clearly. Um, <laughs> but he was finally uh, executed, lethal injection. Um, I think they haven't executed anyone for 14 years. And also Florida uh, has this new execution laws for uh, if you do SA, and that's how I got to say it, with a minor, because there is this thing of being minor, minor, you know, Mm, the maps that's what they, they would want to call themselves um because that's harming innocent children and you shouldn't you should know better so or they should but that they can be you know uh, death penalty for them also chemical castration whatever um so that's why it's really hard for me to see this whole oneness thing and da 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 i just see that some people are um, maybe uh, more evolved um being a good person and not stealing, lying, cheating, raping, murdering, ah, oh, all of those disgusting things in this world. Um, <laughs> I don't think they deserve another chance. Like, why do you release criminals if they've murdered and things like that? Like, you know, and I get there could be potential wrongful convictions and stuff like that. Um, maybe some of you work for the law or you work for the justice system. I am, you know, Aquarian energy can very much be about detaching emotionally uh, not letting someone try and emotionally manip manip uh, and be a judge uh, speak clearly the truth the facts and uh, and pure evidence and in this day and age there is uh, you know cameras everywhere there's pictures there is there's evidence and proof a hundred percent then why would you ever grant them to be released um, back into society where they are going to harm others or themselves I I just I just can't um <laughs> I just can't I just can't and I'm really sick of people thinking that uh they can uh be forgiven and go go to Jesus go to church to get your forgiveness for these horrific things um my moral compass just knew it had nothing to do with me uh, fearful of God's wrath or going to hell. Um, and for a long time, I couldn't understand. So, some of us, <laughs> some of us must have a higher moral compass already built in. But this is spiritually evolved, things like that. Um yeah it gets frustrating okay now the we can learn lessons making a mistake and shit like that right and uh being naive stupid uh pushing your boundaries huh what's underneath there betrayal oh the repair man deceit disloyalty conspiracy and broken bonds Hmm. maybe the bondsman even there's deceit also in the justice system so i knew, do know that i know that there is disgusting deceitful things that the prison guards do right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh right now we've got this repairman uh in reverse here so i feel like whoever this is they, that could be the deceitful person in your life. Someone who came in. They could literally just be like a handyman type person. who To restore, restart, renovate. They're, they're somehow gaining entry. Or they're in jail. They could have been on parole. What's underneath here? The hunter. Someone named Hunter even. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the stalker of prey. Hmm. Aim, strategy, pursuit, and survival. Wow. Um, I'm going to do my best not to make this political or anything like that. But there are lots of people named Hunter in this world. Or they could literally be a hunter. 
but they use a stalker, a prey. Are they going to prey with you? P-R-A-Y? Are they going to prey on you? Are you their prey? Hmm. The doctor. A doctor, doctor. Healer of ailments. He's upright in this point. Treatment, surgery, diagnosis, compassion. <clears throat> a revolutionist. That's what I see. Even Aquarian energy can be very revolutionist. A freedom fighter. Pursuer of welfare and justice. Champion of transformation. We'll get sixth instinct on this too. So when we look at laws and justice and we look through history and stuff like that, we can see where laws needed to be reformed, especially with uh, uh, freedom <sighs> and equal rights for all, regardless of your gender, your nationality, ethnicity. Because uh, there were some bad laws back in the day, yeah? Civil war and shit like that. Uh, women not being able to vote, women uh, not being able to, at one point it was against the law for women to wear pants, you know. Um, hmm. And then we've got the courier, a message. This could be about your career. A clown coming in, performer. Hmm. Okay, I keep getting the Lady Gaga song too. I live for the applause, applause, applause. That's on someone who, so maybe that's a Leo energy even, because I just see something like that, right? They, they're like, they like feed off of that type of energy. Performers, entertainers, people out there in the spotlight and shit like that. Uh, the other thing I see is the fool. Mama didn't raise no fool. So maybe it has to do with Aries energy. Doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing someone, it is in reverse. So it's showing not trying not to be impulsive or ignorant. Homeless, someone homeless, this detective. The detective looking in on someone. Bankruptcy, unemployment, solitude, hunger, wanderer. Huh. Well, that's fascinating. And that's why there will be more than one video, okay? And you can take it how it resonates. Part one, this is part one. Part two, I have a lot of different decks in play. And when I do it for your whole month of August, right? That's why there's a lot. Uh, and it it depends on what comes through. Because if I need to spend deep dive deep more into certain ones, then I will. Um, and so at this point, Capricorn, Sagittarius, both got four videos, okay? Um, and things really shifted when we hit the Scorpionic. Uh, when I hit the Scorpionic uh, energy uh, are doing their videos, okay? So we'll see. Okay, Aquarius is rising sign, moon sign, Aquarius is as well. Check out your rising sign, moon signs, okay? Let's see what the characters are. Who are these characters for the Aquarius for August? Here's your first character. It says, you are amazing. No way. There's the clergy members. <laughs> the guardians of faith religion, morality, compassion, and a sacred mission. It fell right here with these crystals. I'm going to pull in some Scorpio Taurus with that. Aquarius. Um, yeah, because uh, the crystal messages. And then the uh, so Paris, or uh, Paris, French morality, a sacred mission. Hmm. So especially so you could be part of this church group this clergy or this is what i was talking about getting clarification and guidance of who is a wolf and who is not hmm churchy so there's members there's a whole group right here okay that's what came out uh a gang oh the capricorn one had the gang and a waiter it's in reverse so they could have been they could have at one point been in part of a gang Sometimes the clergy members can be gangs now, can't they? Ganging up on people. And a stranger. You meet at the waiter, a waiter, a passerby, mutual aid, encounter by chance, and a new friend, potentially. This first one's going to be a little shorter, I can already tell. Ooh, something does not want to. Uh, these ones are popping out. The career is down. This always makes me think they could have two different eye colors, but I'm seeing red and blue. And this makes me think of M&M. Okay, so M, Emily, uh, Slim Shady, so Libra Energy. And it is because of a song or his, uh, he's a careerist. This person is a careerist. There is, they have vision, machinish, 
aspiration, vision, dreamer of grand schemes. Maybe a little Pisces, Libra. You could have that on your chart or you'd be dealing with this type of a person. This could be you as well. Hmm. So monkey see, monkey do in Game Over by Eminem. Um, I got to keep going. I'm going to bring up Kendrick Lamar. That he's Gemini bringing for. Oh, is he 616? Is, or is that Tupac? No, no. Yeah. I'm trying to remember here. Whatever. So some Gemini energy too. So the song, Not Like Us, really uh, pointing out about uh, minor attracted and the stuff that goes on in Hollywood and blah, blah, blah. And Drake, uh, huh. Drake, whose name is Aubrey. It was also getting another masculine person named Aubrey, maybe Reagan. Uh, Ronald, Ron, Ronald Reagan. Hmm. I always looked up to Ronald Reagan, I'll be honest. I always thought he was a good president, but I was young. Who knows? He was just uh, in the movies, right? Maybe Arnold Schwarzenegger, too. Hmm. All right. But they all have their scandals, don't they? This name Haley coming through as well. Ken and Rick or Kendall careerist okay i'm gonna set that we're gonna i will get tarot on all of these and then i'm gonna get the beautiful oracle messages that are higher a higher vibration right moments of gratitude how you shift your energy maybe and the time traveler wow and then the shaman damn animal shaman oh you guys get the animal spirits the spiritual leader in nature Look at that. You got clergy member and then animal shaman. And a lot of the clergy, uh, especially with, um, well, I think they all do. They they all can look at uh, shamanism as paganism and call it uh, evil. Mm -hmm. Demonic. And there's haters. Huh. Moments. Of, so this time traveler, animal shaman. Oh, that's exciting. Let's line these things up. Maybe this is even part of your career. Something you were hoping to do. Or you do. Or you're dealing with a shaman. The animal spirit. So like I said, I saw the bees and the bunnies. Um, oh, I wanted to bring up to the... Um, so the 8-8 eight, eight Lion's Gate portal. I saw some lions there too, right? Um, this has jaguar spirit. Hmm. Um, there was a new crop circle, uh, and I'm not, I can't remember exactly where it was, but, um, there's like a drone. Oh, this reminds me of the other one. I think it, what is this place called? I can't remember. Jo drone scrape. I almost said Joan. Okay. The, dr it's called drone scape. And so it's like taking, you know, the video over, it's a drone <laughs> you know, flying overhead, seeing the higher perspective too with things. All right. Wow, you guys are the first ones to get that character. I'm really excited. Okay. Underneath there, there's a waiter and a player. So if you're dealing with, there's a certain, maybe uh, they work as a waiter. No, we don't have waitress in this. So it could be waiter or waitress. And player is someone who is younger, energy, charming, un, um, what else? A ninja. Maybe they like ninja stuff, ninja turtles, I don't know. Or uh, this type of, they're into this type of um, craft, okay? Like, you know, um, being in the shadows, uh, ninjas are very quiet, right? As they, the Bushido walker, huh, okay. The journalist, someone could be a journalist. It looks like this waiter is a, used to, is a journalist as well or vice versa. They look uh, they look related or they look like um, you could have been a waiter later or, I mean, earlier in life. What? Okay. Service and hospitality, all right? All right, let's get a few more characters for the Aquariuses for August. The, the singer, the epic tales, legends. Getting legends of the fall. What is that about? Legend of a fall that has like Brad Pitt in it, right? And the singer, 
and a journalist. <laughs> okay, I'm giving out all these good shuffles. Okay, let's see. Any other characters for the Aquariuses for August? I'm excited. You guys got the animal shaman. Wow. I feel like there could be Pisces with that, right? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. A lot of air quality. Um, let's see. And then also the Antique Anatomy Tarot. I opened that up during... Um, during the cancer season. So Cancerian energy potentially. So if you have any of that in your chart, I'm also getting a little Scorpio and Capricorn. Um, so that tarot message might have something to do with that. This also is from the catacombs, you know, like, and sometimes some of these messages can come through from passed on loved ones, guides, angels. Uh, I do work with the Holy Spirit, right? And my angels, my guides, I feel like you had some weird dream travels. <laughs> Uh, messages in your dreams even. I had some weird, I had two different real weird dreams. And I'm not going to share them with you, but you too. A father coming through. Oh my. A family, patriot, guardian, paternal, authority, ancestral passage. Okay, so the father of you, could be your father. Uh, you could be the father, right? Oh, yeah. I got some Jerry Springer stuff. <laughs> or a father. Um, I the father i mean even with the clergy we have the father father god but uh passed on father potentially i'm seeing someone being a young child a young girl holding their father's hand okay wow that's what's underneath the deck um so keep that in mind take a so for some of you it's two different things if you don't have if your father is here or you are the father on earth i mean uh, maybe it is just God coming through. If you have lost a child, if they've passed, or, or they're with their father, or something like that, or uh, it's like, or or you know, what I mean, they're okay. They're coming through for you. So a little mediumship too. All right, let's see what else. Aquarius. Here's a couple more. The dancer is there, and a soldier. The soldier in reverse, what that about? I feel like I have to bring that up because there, we have so much war, so many soldiers, so many people have passed and died because of that. So you could be a soldier or you could be dealing with a soldier who has transitioned to the other realm. Um, and a dancer, I get like Abba, which means father as well. This is a masculine dancer too. Uh, weaver of grace, movement, harmony, rhythm, and passion. The dancer. The dancing queen. Da -da 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 -da. Maybe it's about the dancing. I'm getting like, actually like dancing with the stars. Oh, I was getting Memphis. Okay, so that makes me also think of like uh, Elvis Presley, right? Um, Memphis and the song walking in Memphis walking in the street I don't know what that's about then there's the other thing because this is Tennessee Tennessee by Arrested Development Lord I'm ready I'm not going to sing all the lyrics but 10 I see there's 10 there's 10 of them or it's Tennessee right the soldier, guardian of nations, loyalty, honor, integrity, and selfless service. Came in reverse. I have the feather there. You, you may be receiving feather messages from spirit, uh, from pass on loved ones, or if you are the soldier, they can also represent that, okay? These are some beautiful messages. These are new, like I said. So these are by Allison D. Nicola and artwork by David Schreier. I want to see the first one on top. The vulture, oh yeah. So that could be scorpionic, but this is also overcoming things, uh, accepting the inevitable, let go of the past and be welcome a rebirth. They could be, if you believe in past life stuff like that, they could be, um, sometimes when I see the vultures, I think of that, that they, they, there's something dead, right? There's something that's dead and they're coming in. They are to clean up. So there could be a Scorpio there or it's Scorpionic energy. Um, this could just be literally going through a rebirth, right? Uh, so, wow, you guys are pulling a lot more Scorpio than I had anticipated. I think I saw 1101. 
uh, I saw a 901 uh, and a singer. Ancestral passage, once again, the father and a king. The king's in reverse. Hmm. A chef. They were a chef, even. Okay. All right, I'm going to move it on. I also see the gambler in reverse. If so someone gets caught or, or they could have beaten, they could have a, a gambling addiction. Uh, oh man, the Kenny, Ro is it Kenny Rogers and Johnny Cash song, The Gambler? That song talks so much about it. For a sip of your whiskey, I'll give you my advice. Uh, yeah. And that talks about the best you can hope for is to die in your sleep. <laughs> But someone could have had an addiction. They could have lost a lot. Uh, that song, I'm even seeing like the guy singing songs and there's like at a bar, uh, they're drinking whiskey. Whiskey. Hmm. Wow. So a taste of your whiskey. And a lover there too. That's under the lover the waiter and a lawyer huh why is the waiter who i mean we all go out right and and uh go to restaurants and stuff like that um i actually know a few different people who were waitresses and waiters maybe you need to wait on someone or you were there's something about a waiter a lover romance okay oh uh, <laughs> Gemini, uh, maybe this is, no, because a vendor is different. This is working at a restaurant, okay? A vendor would be like a fast food. The waiter is going to be at an actual restaurant. Look at those ones popping out for you. Let's get these final ones. The community's there, okay, architect, an architect here. I'm putting this by Forest Spirit, Oracle Cards, Enchanted Forest, Weaver of Blueprints, Planning, Design, Supervision, and Construction. The sixth instinct card, I've got the madman. Ooh. And a challenger. They're both in reverse and the mother and community. Wow. Huh. One, two, three, four. I have too many here. Um, the madman came through with Capricorn so far in this stage. Um, and letting go. They could have been a boxer or they're a fighter. Um, they like a challenge uh, and they could be a mother. They could be, they could be challenging your mother. It could be a mad woman. Uh, and the community is not, not for them anymore. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put those back in. I don't, I don't feel right taking those. Uh, let's this sixth instinct. This is even trusting your intuition. Um, the sixth instinct came through with, I decided to bring that back forth uh, for the Scorpio. Someone who's very young. Oh my gosh. The knight. The youngs. That came through before. Ugh. Um, they could just be a young person. Literally, young could be uh, a name. What's in a name? I don't know. I've seen plenty of people that have godly names that end up being like Emmanuel means like God with us. Yeah. And I've seen murderers be named Emmanuel. So, uh, an employee, someone you work with, a worker, like they're young and they, yeah, they're a performer. They're a jokester. They're a clown. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so like I was saying, six instincts I brought back in with the Scorpio messages, uh, Capricorn, Scorpio. So this is how I also give discernment for individual Aquarians, okay? Uh, I should look at the camera. Let me, let me look. Okay, see, I, I'm moving it all the way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the beautiful, the nines. This one has a lot going on, right? Because I got the crystals. There's multiple things going on with this. Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Even another Aquarius over here. I'm really getting a lot of, you know, uh, Libra, Pisces, Gemini energy. A little maybe a Virgo, double Aquarius. Aries, potentially Cancer sign. Um, Scorpio. 
Leo. And over here, once once again, there's more Capricorn, okay? So that's how I'm deciphering this. I also see the message about the youngs or the young person. I feel like someone could have, there could have been a young person. They could have even, oh man, I'm getting, so on their bike or sk snow skiing, they could have, uh, you know, had an accident. Wow. Something like that. All right. What about the sixth instinct? Okay, for the Aquarians. Who's the character? The waiter. Damn. Attendant of hospitality. Steward. Stewart. And the cleaner. Taking them to the cleaners. They come in and they clean shit up. The Hidden Truth Oracle, I'm going to give messages for all signs when we get to that part. That's going to give you messages um, about how they feel. You could not, it could be that you're not in communication with some of these people or, uh, and I'm going to go all the way through all the zodiacs, okay? All the way from Aries to Pisces. And as I move forward through all of this, I will get tarot on each character, Okay. Uh, and then we're going to move through with the messages of cosmic oracles. And I feel like that's going to give you information. Uh, Libra, Pisces, uh, oh, Gemini. Yeah, Gemini there too. And the Pisces, animal spirits, the bees, man. Educator is there. A mentor, a guide, a teacher, the hidden truth, and the boss. Master of Wealth, Risk, Investment. So I got a, a, a lot about maybe Aries, Capricorn. I'm getting Taurus for some reason. And Virgo, potentially. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. The Hidden Truth Oracle. What's the character? The character. Oh, this one. The King. Yeah. Sovereign of Realms. The monarch, authority, rule, inheritance, the kings. They could even be a, the kings can be names too, right? The king. Wondering what the king's up to. That could be a mother. Uh -huh, okay. The mother in reverse. What? The boss. I'm see, I keep seeing like, for some of you dealing with your own mother or a wife or a boss woman. And she's in reverse. So I'm that I would say this is Empress in reverse. Okay. Uh, which is not a good sign. Okay. The player. She, wow. She could be someone who is, I'm seeing this person <clears throat> being very young. So I'm telling you, some, these are some young mothers, maybe teenage mothers, 14, 16, 18, whatever. Um, but also uncommitted, uncommitted uncommittal they uh they this is the type of energy i'm getting um that they're not they're like not a good mother their focus is on um playing out in the world and not being a mom and this can sometimes this can be just because you know a teenage mother is young and uh being a mother and uh and being in charge of children, it, is, it, it becomes a career too. And there's nothing, like, it is so important. They do so much. Uh, and, it, and you have to sacrifice your own wants and needs and, and shit to be in charge of another human being and take care of them. It, it's about service and they want to only serve themselves. So there could be abandonment issues. There could have been being orphaned. I don't see it as orphaned, just abandoned or being uh, the grandparents always taking care of someone else taking care. Wow. And they could be a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. They could be a Virgo, a Cancer sign, a painter, a Pisces. What's under here? A driver. They don't even know how to drive. What? That's how young they are, like, or something, like, oh, man. <clears throat> wow. And I did have Capricorn there. So keep in mind, it, you know, you could just have Capricorn in your chart. Um, I do that. have this by the Guide to the Art Oracles and written by Katya Tailevich and Mikhail Summer. I'm seeing Gemini there, too. Okay. 
It could be a Gemini or you're a Gemini, whatever. Like I said, rising sign, moon sign. Let's get a final character for the Aquarians for this month of August. One final character, the driver. Navigator of journeys, steering, safe passage, and welcome. Okay, so Capricorn could be a driver. Maybe even making sure to recharge yourself more often than you charge your phone. Take a brain break every hour or finish the work day one hour earlier than usual. Recharge before you feel tired. On Tuesday, navigator of journeys. Maybe you literally have one of the cars you got to charge, like one of those electric cars or the charger in the driver. What the heck? I want to look underneath here. Oh, see, some of these I cannot show you. I see Tracy. Don't hide your dirty sheets in the washer. Concentrate. She got all this money. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to show you the picture. There's hearts here. Tracy Emin. So M&M even M's. I feel like they love M&M's. But she's got all this money. Uh, oh my gosh. This is gross. I'm just going to show you. <laughs> okay. We got 45, 40, 45, 50. She could be 45 actually. And just very immature and not wanting to be a mom. But uh, she got all these coins um, in between her legs. Concentrate on finding, not losing yourself in the art. Decay can be a fertilizer for new ideas. So there could be scorpionic with this. They they really feel they could be making money. Oh, from their legs. Okay. Okay. Why she's shoving money in between her legs? What? See, th some of these decks, I don't, I don't. Some. Uh, some of these so-called artists, so-called art, uh, is, I don't think it is. Um, wow. Hello, Tracy. What else? Henry. Hello, Henry. Unleash the beast within, Henry. Henry with an I. Um, productivity, even in your pajamas. Sketch boldly and paint with a big stick. Oh, yeah, I was getting something about charcoal painting. Henry. Wow. This one's new. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put those back in. Um, I'm just kind of grabbing off the top. Orlan. Orlando. And then this is pulling in scorpionic and green eyes. And someone potentially having some type of uh, addiction to... Uh, Surgery. Also a little Virgo. Um, there's a lot of vanity with this. Uh, someone could be a surgeon. Like a virgin. Hey, but it's weird Al. Like a surgeon. Art is an aesthetic. Don't fear the pain. I get don't fear the reaper. Blue oyster coat. Cult. Okay, someone driving someone somewhere. All the time, maybe taking them to surgeries or stuff like this. I don't know. Eh. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I'm going to look look underneath there. So the characters, the challenger. <clears throat> a seeker of adventure, courage, challenge, and a goal. So the boxer coming through once again. A challenge. Feeling challenged. To me, this also pulls in a little bit of Sagittarian energy. Okay. And the gambler in reverse. Not taking a risk. A volunteer. Ooh, some of these people, because especially for church stuff, the person who decides that they're going to volunteer, uh, doing volunteer work. The youth pastors. Ooh. But there's something dirty. There's something bad that's going on underneath the surface. Um, okay. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to set the characters off to the side. And since we're already 40, 49 minutes in, I'm going to take a break. So, Aquarius, is, this is where we will begin, okay, <laughs> for your monthly for August, right? And this should help you to know. If none of these characters are in play for you or they resonate, if the, meaning like, do you, are you, do you feel you are an animal shaman? Do you feel you are a dancer, a soldier, a clergy member, architect, waiter? king or the driver or a careerist right or people in your life right 
that's why there's a lot of different Aquarians energy. So you have to take what resonates. Um, I'm going to leave it at this. So check the description box. That's where I will link in part two. I need to take a little break. I'm going to re-cleanse, get my water, get your vitamins. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's important. So I go clear the energy before and then I come back. And if there is more uh, things that come through, downloads, then um, I will share that with you. All right, Aquariuses. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. And also sometimes I just watch these things for entertainment. So you're also welcome to do that. You can also check out, ooh, um, I'm all, ooh, I got something new before I go. I want to share. Um, maybe you are not new to my channel, but you watched my uh, pick, a, pick a fortune cookie reading because uh, once I do finish all of the Zodiac signs monthlies, I'm going to do some more pick a card messages. Um, and I have two new fortune cookies at Chinese food last night. I'm always so excited to get the fortune cookies and I love revealing it on, uh, you know, for you guys too. Um, and I love doing those mystery piles of cards to get your messages, right? So you can check my channel for those. Depending on when you're getting this, maybe you've already uploaded that, like pick a feather message or um, pick a feather for your message or pick a fortune cookie. All right. Thanks so much, Aquariuses. Bye-bye.